It was funny that I end up talking about this because um, there was one commentator that talked about Luis Diaz and his performance with Liverpool and said, it seems like he's been here for five years, yet he's only been here for about five minutes. And it just seems so funny because they seem so right. It just seems like he's fit in so far. The language barrier and everything that has gone on in his adaptation process and finally he scores his first goal and it's amazing what he was capable of doing with Liverpool adding more depth uh, another option for Jurgen Klopp and it seems like Liverpool are this team that could be on their way to contending for the Champions League if they weren't already they're a team that is allowing the possibility of rotation now because now Mohamed, Mohamed Salah doesn't have to play every single game. Mane doesn't have to play, uh, Sadio Mane doesn't have to play every single game. Uh, even Roberto Firmino, to a certain extent, doesn't have to play every single game. So that, that helps out in terms of, of this team being fresher. I'm not saying totally fresh, but fresher when it comes to being able to get to the, the trophy winning phase of the season and, and I think that this is um, something important something important to really look at going into the remainder of this campaign because um, just the teams maybe not the best team is going to win uh, something like the Champions League which ends up being a battle of attrition if, if you look at it from that perspective it ends up being one of these tournaments where there is still a lot to to look at and look forward to and, and wonder and and see what what's going to happen because um, today the team might be a contender but in two weeks they might not because of injuries because of a whole boatload of issues that can end up making the difference in, in a season and and hopefully that ends up being a positive for Liverpool being able to get uh, a player such as Lucho Diaz because what he's been able to bring, he it's a promise he fulfilled. And I love the fact that he's been able to do this. Why? Because he has been yet another player that has come to England and has ended that, oh, well, he needs time to adapt to a league like the Premier League a league that is so much better than everything else that he's never experienced anything like that it, it's again when you hear these pundits talk about oh you know the premier league and the, the the blank of the premier league the this of the premier league the that of the premier league it, it's sometimes nonsensical because if you're good you're going to adapt anywhere in the world it doesn't matter if you're playing or you might not adapt to somewhere in the world so if a player doesn't adapt to from from going from the Premier League to let's say Liga, does it make Liga a difficult place to play? Yes and no. It just uh, it, players different. Uh, different players adapt differently to different situations. That's all. But there's been this entire this whole notion in England, especially that just because the Premier League is the one that has the most money, that the Premier League uh, this, that the Premier League that, and I understand, and it's, 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 there's certain, there's a certain truth to that, but it doesn't mean that every single player on earth is going to have to have an adaptation time, or, or is going to need a year to adapt, because, uh, I mean, one of the examples I usually give when it comes to that type of argument is Kun Aguero. Oh, because Kuhn, when he when he had to play, when he was playing for, when he first got to Manchester City for Atletico Madrid, oh, he needed time to adapt to the intensity of the Premier League. First game, he comes out of the shoot, scores a brace, gets a, gets an assist, and was well on his way in becoming the all-time leading goal scorer for Man City. So, what then? Again, I don't say it out of jest. I don't say it 
you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm against. No, it's just that you hear that all the time and, and it got, you get to a certain point that you start thinking, do, do people honestly see other leagues? Do people honestly see what, what goes on elsewhere? And that's the question I always ask myself about do, about certain pundits and, and how they talk about other leagues or if they even see other leagues for that matter. I, I start to question that because it seems it seems as if it is. I can't say that they do or they don't, and, and I'm not going to get into that um, topic of discussion because I don't know. But to, but to hear some of the things that people say about it, it's just wow. But anyway, I digress. It's a great time because seeing. Luis Diaz play the way he has ever since he's gotten to Liverpool. It just shows you the kid's the real deal, man. And it's unfortunate that that performance or that form hasn't, at least in recent months, translated over to the Colombian national team. And I strongly believe that he is the the man of the future, or not the present even now, for the Colombian national team. So when you look at this at this player boy there's a lot to be looking at there's a lot to look forward to there's a lot to be really excited about every time Luis Diaz starts to play that ball have it at his feet or even gets in front of goal there's just another weapon to to, to be able to make people excited about Liverpool and their football and that really gives me a great deal of happiness because he's a player that has worked his tail off to get where he is and you always have to be happy when that type of thing happens to people like him